I'm someone who defines herself through her creativity. Since I was born an artist, I merely use fashion as my creative medium of artistic expression. My fashion creations are visual pieces of art. Creativity is something that emanates deeply from within the soul. It's drawn from spirit essences. If I couldn't create, I'd be terribly, terribly unhappy. Once upon a time, I was born in a remote village in Maui's China. Behind the facade of the glitz and glamour of my fabled life, I grew up under very humble circumstances. In the bold attempt to be reunited with my father, after being separated by the communist regime, my mother took a blind leap of faith and bribed the border guard with her wedding jewelry, who released us to our freedom into Hong Kong. Love is always greater than fear. My father had quickly escaped and returned back to America, to where he had immigrated as a young man. It's hard to reconcile this austerity with the opulence of my current lifestyle and all the accoutrement of my current lush life and fame. However, coming from a reduced minimal background makes me appreciate the value of abundance, which I was fortunate enough to have channeled through my creativity and hard work in my adult life. I made my first blouse at age nine from a scrap of fabric from the five and 10 cent store, sewed it up on my mother's Singer sewing machine and added a touch of eyelet lace at the neckline. And voila, a new designer was born. I had been designing professionally since I was 19. Success came to me at a very early age and by the time I was 25, I had become a celebrated American success story. One of the most precious childhood memories was a gift jar of colorful glass beads that my grandmother had given to me in China. They were magical, and I was completely mesmerized by the kaleidoscope of their beauty. As one can see, beads were in my destiny. Today, I am queen of beads. My signature style is synonymous with old Hollywood glamour. The sultry, sassy, modern goddesses of the silver screen became my iconic muses. I enjoy the visuality, glamour, and the seduction of fashion. Today, I'm perpetuating new Hollywood glamour by dressing its many stars. I believe that every woman has her own beauty and femininity, and my work lends itself to a wide range of body shapes, ethnicities, and ages. I think this is reflected in the celebrities and everyday women who wear Su Wong. I'm proud to have dressed many diverse celebrities, such as Taylor Swift, Christina Ricci, Kim Kardashian, Tyra Banks, Jessica Biel, and Anne Hathaway each a beautiful vision in Su Wong. I have a huge creative fire, and I live to create. Fashion is the fastest moving of all the art forms. It occurs less than every two and a half months, and there are five seasons a year for which to create. I personally create over 1,500 designs per year. The privilege of being able to bring creative expression to one's art is a great blessing, and I am truly grateful to have had the honor of doing what I love most my entire life. There is no greater gift than to follow one's bliss. I have three homes which symbolize body, mind, and spirit. The Cedars, my historical Hollywood residence, is a palatial historical estate that once encompassed terrace gardens, lakes, and fountains on 15 acres of the Hollywood Hills. It was the vision of French director and screenwriter Maurice Tunier. I fell in love with the faded glamour of the estate, a one-of-a-kind work of masterful art, whose ornate details, grand style, 
and vintage provenance reflected my own romantic design sensibilities. The home subsequently served as a host for a constellation of legendary Hollywood stars and musical royalty, including Norma Talmadge, Howard Hughes, Jimi Hendrix, Lou Reed and the Velvet Underground, Dennis Hopper, Bob Dylan, Van Morrison, and Johnny Depp. The Cedars is a timeless, magical vortex of great beauty, and I'm honored to be her temporal mistress and steward. It remains one of the most dramatic and extraordinary estates in Los Angeles, and a stunning homage to the iconic glamour of early 20th century Hollywood. Most know me as the designer of romantic vintage sensibilities, but few know me as the unsentimental modernist. My home in Malibu is a museum of modern art and a modernist dream. I greatly admire artists from such schools of art such as the Russian avant-garde, Cubism, Dada, Surrealism, and the German Expressionist School. My love and interest for modern art is reflected in my fashion design. The use of bright, bold colors, clean silhouettes, and modern graphics within aspects of my collection are all influenced by modern art. My Kipahulu Hawaii paradise is my beautiful heaven on earth. My current home is situated on acres of flawlessly manicured gardens, which I designed over the course of time. Of my three homes, which represent body, mind, and spirit, my Hawaiian properties, which represent spirit, are my very favorite. The beautiful, intense colors of the tropics, representing the flora and splendors of nature at her most lush, inform the exoticism of my clothing design. My Hawaiian home is my sacred sanctuary, where I come home for regeneration, decompression, renewal, and spiritual realignment. The future of Su Wong is to become a bigger global brand with an international presence with a heavy foray into licensing of the Su Wong name. Presently, the Su Wong collection of gorgeous gowns is carried in such prestigious stores as Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, as well as found in 28 countries throughout the planet. A testimony that the Su Wong style is loved and appreciated by women internationally. My mantra is beauty, magic, transformation. What I create is beauty. The alchemy of beauty is magical, and magic has the ability to transform. I would like to think that when a woman puts on a Su Wong, she is magically transformed and connected to her ultimate divine goddess.